How well you hear not only affects the day-to-day, -day, it can affect long-term brain health. Today's topic is how untreated hearing loss has a 94% correlation with dementia. Our expert is Taylor Parker from Concept Iowa Hearing. That 94% statistic is, is shockingly it's a big high. Number. Let's lay the groundwork on how they got there. There's been like 10 years of many studies showing yeah. a higher incidence. Yeah, so, you know, taking a step back real quick and just, you know, walking through how hearing works, that our ears just collect the sound through the process, the eardrum, you know, the ossicular chain, and then the cochlea, which looks like a tiny little snail, has 15,000 tiny little hairs, nerves inside of there that move based upon, you know, the, um, the sequence that happens. Mm -hmm. But the cochlea then sends the signal to the brain where the brain then interprets what just got received. The issue is that, you know, noise exposure is the number one type of hearing loss. That, what happens with loud noise is it, you know, takes the little hairs or nerves and it makes them brittle, they break off. What happens then is we lose the ability to send a good signal to the brain. The mm -hmm. brain then has to compensate. It's got to pull resources from other areas to help decipher what, you know, that broken signal they're getting, you know, the brain's getting from the cochlea. And that the first area that it pulls from is cognitive, which is then the link to dementia. Maybe we should show the video then. We'll yeah. see the MRI compares um, hearing impairment versus normal Correct. Hearing. Yeah, so, you know, if you take a look at that on the screen, you know, the left-hand side is, uh, you know, a brain that's that's been damaged, you know, but with, with um, you know, untreated hearing loss, not getting the full signal. It actually changes the formation of your brain. It's like it's, like it's shrinking. It is. It, it, it is. It's actually shrinking your brain. But the issue then is the day you decide to treat your hearing, your brain doesn't go back to the right-hand side of the screen, that, you know, mm -hmm. the good, healthy brain. You've permanently changed the formation of your brain forever. And so, you know, with an untreated hearing loss, you're two to five times more likely to mm -hmm. develop dementia. Even with a mild hearing loss, you're twice as likely. Yeah, it's double. And, you know, individuals, you know, a lot of times we put hearing this, you know, it's this thing on the side that I'll do later in life. I'm not old enough. I, you know, there's a lot of, you know, excuses that people have used for 25 years I've been in the business mm -hmm. that, you know, it's a mild hearing loss, you're still twice as likely. So right. it's, still a, it's still a damage, it's still a big number. Well, I think getting a screening, because you always have free screenings Correct. at Concept, yep. um, keep that in mind no matter where you are. Even if it's a baseline, get the free screening. Yeah. But it's preventative. We're yeah. looking at preventative, but there is hope if you are seeing some cognitive issues. Wearing a device can also diminish symptoms. It can. So it, it can improve dementia or, you know, reduce dementia symptoms by up to 75%. Mm -hmm. it, can it can improve cognitive decline by up to 48% within that first year. So there's real hope in treating your hearing loss. Right. But that first step is you've got to get that, you get know, screening. get that free screening and then make the decision, you know, right along with that. Don't, don't get the screening and then say, oh, I need to think about it a little bit more. You know, get the screen and then make that, yeah, take the action and get that, that you know, get the treatment done. Well, this is important information. We've it got is. two clinics in the area in Davenport by Texas Roadhouse and on Lincoln Way in Clinton. Thanks yes. for coming in again Thanks today. For I'm Debbie McFadden for Midday Medical.